Hi guys, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V. Uh, today I am in Oracle Berry inside the old curiosity shop. Um, last time I said I was going to show off the uh, collectible museum, and I will, but I'm going to do that at the end of this episode because I have some other collectibles that I need to uh, pick up. So this guy, he sells a collectible, and it is the Heel Slime Sash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy it, even though I said I wouldn't buy anything, but it's a collectible, and I want to show all the collectibles, so I'm going to be getting that. Um, Pierre cannot equip it. Only slimes, heal slimes, cure slimes, and all that can equip it. Slime knights cannot equip it. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to Healy, and then I'm going to meet you at the Metal King's Castle. See you guys there. Okay, I am at the Metal King's Castle. The heal slime slash is really good for the uh, for uh, Healy. It gives him a nice defense boost, and it also heals some HP each round. You gotta just talk to this innkeeper, and she's gonna sell you a chocolate medal. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up. It's only 480 gold. That goes in our bag too. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. And then I need to talk to the metal king. Um. And I want to show you what he kind of does. He trades small medals for um, for prizes, pretty much, and they're really good. And it doesn't cost gold, so I think it's perfectly fine. He has these soldiers' pajamas, which basically makes you immune to sleep and gives you a little bit of defense. They suck. Mysterious shrug. Rarely absorbs MP from spells, and it also sucks. Now, the miracle sword is amazing. Look at that attack power. It gives. David something like 75 extra attack power and it restores 25% of the damage that you do as HP so it's kind of like a small drain spell it's unbelievable the mystic armor also amazing <clears throat> it gives David plus 50 more defense and it gives uh, HP at the end of each round the falcon sword lets you attack twice at the same time it's okay um, not a lot of people can equip it only Pierre and my party can equip it right now it's really good for like metal babble hunting and uh, metal slime hunting. Metal King Shield, it's also amazing. It protects you from instant death spells. A lot of mage type characters can equip it, and it gives them good, really good defense. But it's really expensive. I'm probably going to be focusing mostly on the Miracle Sword and the uh, maybe the Mystic Armor. So um, I don't have enough small metals to collect those right now. I only have 16. So my next stop is I am going to be going to uh, the kingdom of Telepador, which we have heard a lot about. Okay, well I just warped right on over to the Collectible Museum, and I'm going to head due south to this desert island. This is where the kingdom of Telepador is. Ooh, we have a battle. What do we have here? Ooh, some Kembeths. Looks like one's asleep. That's always nice when you start off sleeping. It makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, but never okay. The enemies around here actually print, hit pretty hard. Um, you couldn't see quite there with that crack spell. But there are some enemies on the, on the collectible museum island that deal some really big damage, and some enemies here that also deal some pretty big damage. So after this video, I may want to level up a little bit um, over at the Metal King's Castle because there's a lot of metal slimes that, that uh, show up there. And also there are Cure Slimes over there, and I really would like to get a Cure Slime on my team. So over here we have this little tent, this kind of nomadic tent, and we can head on inside. Mainly, I want to get the small metal. Awesome. So we'll grab that. There's some boxer shorts right here. And I want to talk to you. And, oh, it's so rare to have a visitor around these parts. We tried so hard to get this far, so I'll tell you something neat. If you make your way west through the desert, you'll reach Telepador Castle. And that island in the southeast? That's the Metal King's Island. Yeah, he just kind of gives some directions, but it's nice to know that Teleporter is right there. So we're going to head straight due east. And it's actually quite the walk, you know, for just a small little island. Um, they did put it rather far away. So let's see if Flora has anything to say. Oh, but we shouldn't be just wandering about aimlessly. After all, sweetie, you're on a journey to find a legendary hero and rescue your mother. Well, don't tell me anything that I don't already know. Yeah, so let me show you on the map. Oh, there's the kingdom, but let me show you on the map anyway. Yeah, see how far we had to go from that tent to the ca to the uh, castle? It really is quite the walk. So, let's head on inside. 
and first things first I want to go over here to the weapon shop not to buy weapons but there's something in there that I want to grab let's head down to his basement and over here yeah the candlestick that's why I came here I came to get a chimera wing not that I'll ever use it because I have zoom and I don't need chimera wings anymore and then there's somebody in the armor shop that I want to talk to as well he has some information regarding uh, yet another collectible that we can get. Have you heard of the Desert Rose? No, I haven't. There's a rose-shaped stone that you can only find near here. They're usually buried in the sand, but every night the strong winds make the sands dance and shift. Try spending the, the night at the inn and then set out early in the morning. I'm sure you'll be able to find one lying around then. Well, that's a good idea. Actually, after I get out of here, I will spend the night at the inn and then I will um, show off the desert rose. So if we head over here, we can find this guy. Let's talk to him. Oh, it's hot. My throat is dry. Well, water. Someone please take me to water. So you literally just step on him and push him into the, um, into the oasis, oasis over here. Get over there. Bam. Oh, water. You really saved me there. I'm a traveling item trader. Yeah, so he sells um, a little bit of unique things. He sells mostly the, the fighter's hair gel, which raises your attack power. Something that cures confusion, and then an attack item, which kind of sucks. So if you don't want a uh, uh, an attack caster, like a wife in your party, then you can um, get some fighter's hair gels, and that will cast the oomph spell in battle, which is nice. I want to talk to the nun here. She's something interesting to say. A long, long time ago, a lone girl fell from the heavens. Her child grew to become the legendary hero and save the world. This is just one of the many stories about the legendary hero. Ah, so the legendary hero carried the bloodline of heaven. Well, this guy's kind of pretty hard to find. So, let's uh, head over here and talk to the soldier straight out of Dragon Warrior 3. Salutations! You must be Miss Flora's husband. Ah, there you are, Miss Flora. What luck! Good news! I bring correspondence from Master Ludman. Let me whip it out and here you go. I've delivered the package, so I'll see you later. Very nice, we got a treasure. And we get 2,000 gold, awesome. Yeah, you do not get that if you marry Bianca. You only get that 2,000 gold if you marry Flora. There's, uh, I think, one more other treasure chest that you can get whenever you uh, marry Flora later on, and we'll be getting that eh, soon enough. So if we go over here, search the middle cabinet, we get a Sugoroku ticket. And then there's some other stuff that I want to grab over here. We're gonna... Not that pot. Top pot! There we go. Okay, we get a Nut of Magic. Awesome. And I want to talk to you. Have you heard the news? When the world falls in a dream to the legendary hero will rise again. Why must we wait into the world in dire straits before we can find the legendary hero? That's a really good question, Flora. That's a, a really good question. I want to get this one. That's a seat of defense. The lower one is one of those demon jars, and I do not want to get the demon jar. Long, long ago, it said that the first king of Teleporter, Telepador was a companion of the legendary hero. After peace was restored to the world, he came here and founded this kingdom. Oh, really? Yeah, um, last time I fought a demon jar, a critical hit landed on Flora, and she died. It was not fun. So, talk to this guy. None of those books have anything interesting. I'm doing some research about the legendary hero. I'm fairly certain that the legendary hero carries the blood of heaven. But I don't understand why there's hardly any record of the heavenly bloodline after him. I guess there's no way of knowing nowadays. No, there... Hmm, I guess nobody knows where he is. I'm sure the legendary hero's descendants are still living quietly somewhere. Hmm. So... Maybe we just gotta find the legendary hero. It's been quite some time. We still haven't found the legendary hero. And we know that David is the legendary hero. We can't equip the shield or the sword. So let's go over here. And I want to go down this well. Because down here there is a. Da -da -da -da! Small metal! Awesome! Okay. 
Now there's one more person I want to talk to down here. She's, well, she's rather important. So let's go find her. She's over here. You there with the sunglasses on inside. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm Isis, this country's queen. Have you come for a tour of the tomb of the legendary hero as well? Sure. That's quite all right. I sense there was something special about you. Allow me to guide you. Please, follow me. Okay. Right this way, please. So, okay, so I have to ask, why in... Number one. Why are there sunglasses in the world of Dragon Quest? That's, that's number one. Number two. Why is she wearing sunglasses when she is... In the castle's basement, there is no light. They have to have torches and candles, and she's wearing sunglasses. Now, out here, I understand some sort of eye protectors, because you really need them. But you're you're lounging about inside of a castle, and you got to have your sunglasses on. It's pretty ridiculous. And then you have to go all the way down here, further into the basement, further with more torches, and you still keep your sunglasses on. Maybe she's just eccentric. You know how rich people gotta get a little bit crazy? Eh. Let's see what she has to say for her awesome sunglasses. You've come to view the tomb of the legendary hero, but to speak the truth, there's a shrine devoted to the legendary hero, but there's no grave. No one knows exactly where the legendary hero went after the world was saved. Our kingdom has passed the heavenly hell down since the ancient past. Should the legendary hero once again appear, he's certain to seek out the helm. Until that day arrives, for the sake of protecting the helm, it must remain here. Now, will you try on the helm, please? Sure, why not? Maybe the helmet will, will, will fit me. I hope so. His head felt as heavy as lead. It seems that David could not equip this item. Ugh, that sucks. As I suspected, the helm didn't fit. You bitch. I felt something from you, but it appears that I was mistaken. Now that we're finished, let's return, shall we? Please follow me. Ugh, I'm gonna meet you back at the Queen. Hold on just one sec. Actually, let's see if Cora has a little sight. I guess the Queen has been searching for the legendary hero for quite some time. Say, sweetie, shall we try speaking with the Queen one more time before we set off? That's the plan, Flora, and I will meet you there. Okay, I'm back at the Queen. Well, it's only slight. I possess the ability to read people's hearts. The feeling I had was likely from your deep desire to find the legendary hero. May I inquire as to exactly why you seek the hero so? David spoke of his circumstances. Oh dear! You intend to rescue your mother from the demon world at the request of your dead father? Don't tell me that your father was King Papas of Granvania. Granvania is the country east of my kingdom, far across the sea. King Papas left his kingdom with his young child to search for a way to rescue his kidnapped queen. I have heard the rumors from many of the passing travelers. If that child is really you, I think that you'd better journey to the eastern country of Granvania. Wow. That's exactly like your life story, right down to the very last detail. So does this mean that you're a prince? Man, Flora. <laughs> So I thought that I married well, but it turns out that you married well. You married into royalty. David just married into money. So this is awesome. He married a prince. Sweet. <laughs> so the, uh, the plot thickens. Remember, way on back in the very first episode, we thought it was a dream whenever Papas was uh, waiting on his wife, Martha, to, uh, to have a baby. Well, that wasn't a dream. That was... Uh, you know, the very the very first, the, the birth of David. Um, and it was King Papas and his castle. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go to the inn, and then I'm going to head outside, and it is time to find that desert rose. So it's early in the morning. Got to grab that collectible. Come on, we're going to head due south. Got to find it. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. Awesome. Found the desert rose. I obtained the desert rose. Perfect. Okay, next things next, I have to go to the uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, collectible museum. And I'm going to place the collectibles there, and then I'm going to show off uh, the collectibles as well. But there are some things that we can see in the collectible museum as well. So let's, uh, oh, who's this guy? 
Wow, this is a fantastic structure! Mm -hmm. Now there's another little pippy guy, a little pip fighter, a pip squeak, whatever, over there. And he just talks about controls. Since more and more people have been coming in, I've hired a receptionist. Oh, well, that's nice. She must be the receptionist now that she's here. It's starting to look just like a real museum. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to her. Uh, but I am going to check out... Hey, this is Mr. Spook's diary! David gently picks it up and starts reading it. Today, the place actually started looking like a museum. It's happening little by little, though. I better keep a close eye on these youngins. <laughs> they say Mr. Spooks keeps all his most precious items inside that treasure chest. Let's let him keep his secrets and not open it. Oh, okay. Speaking of treasure chests, or treasures, um, I want to head over here because down inside the basement of the collectible museum, there are some treasures. So I want to grab those. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Some barrels. Awesome. We get a small metal. Come on. There we go. And we get a Sugaru ticket. I cannot speak today. And we get another Sugaroku ticket. Okay, so anyway, this museum has three stories plus a basement, so there's plenty of room to place your collectibles. And I'm going to show you real quick where I put them all. I had one little, it was called the Book of Rumors, so I threw it in the basement because otherwise it made that curse sound, which kind of freaks me out because it reminds me of losing my saves back on the NES. Now, these are the collectibles that I have here so far, and you can examine them to see them close up. And I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to show you guys that uh, in the end slate of this video. Another thing that I want to talk about is I may be doing a little bit of leveling up on Metal King Island over there, and to try to get a, uh, a cure slime. And also, I just kind of need to level up anyway because I have no equipment, and my guys kind of suck right now. And then next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V, we are going to head off to the kingdom of Granvania. I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, this is the um, the liquor that we got in Zoom Blossom Stick that we got from Bella in the Fairy World. This box that we got from Henry and Maria uh, whenever we got married. That's pretty. This That's is the ship in a bottle that we bought at the port in Port Selmy. This is the giant mini metal that we got. Um, not the oh, it's like a shield that we got not that long ago. Uh, that at the scarecrow outfit. that we got in that town that I forgot the name of. <laughs> the cupcakes that Sir Ludman got as wedding favors. Uh, the tea bro. set that we got at the uh, what's the name of that castle? Oh, the castle that we went to. As this is that very sleepy pillow that we got. Here we have very the nice. goddess statue that we got from the uh, seaside nunnery. This is the desert rose that we just got in a uh, telepador this is the book of rumors that we got and here we have Don't the remember. chocolate metal that we purchased from um the innkeeper in the finally we have the heel slime sash that we purchased from the old curiosity shop over in oracle berry